All right, we're on our last type of graphic for section 2.2. Woohoo! Oh, we're on the, almost in the home stretch. Okay, so this is going to be something called a dot plot. And a dot plot is a graph where the data are represented by using dots over a number line. So the horizontal axis is a number line right there, and then you have these dots that kind of stack up over it. Okay. All right, so if you look at this, this is the 50 point quiz again. But this is a different group. It's not the same one that we've been looking at. Okay, so how many students took this quiz? Well, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So there's only 26 students in this class. The other class had 31. How many students scored a perfect score of 50? Well, okay, this is right here. This is 48. The next mark over is 49. So it's a trick question. No one. I guess it's the other put it this way. Zero. No one. Oops. There we go. What is the lowest score on the quiz for this class? Okay, well, it's a little bit hard to see because it's not putting all the tick marks in there, but if this is 6, that would be 7, 8, and then 9. So you got to work your way back. If this is 6, then there was a 5 right there. So it looks like about a 4. 4. What score occurred the most frequently? Well, that would be the one with the most dots, which is 27. It has the most dots. Okay, that's what makes it the mode. So it doesn't seem too bad. They're pretty easy to read. Um, just like stem and leaf plots, however, Excel does not make these. <laughs> it doesn't make them a dot plot. So use StatCrunch. All right. Okay, it's not too bad. So we already actually have this data set. Um, this is the JCC um, basketball team for the 2010-2011 season. It's the one we just made a stem and leaf plot of before. So it's still sitting in my stack crunch. If it wasn't, I could just type it in, right? Any empty stack crunch will do. All right, so go to graphics, and there's dot plot. I want it of number of games. Next. Now it's up to you if you want any labels on your graph, um, you can type them in right here. Like I could say dot plot of number of games. I could give it a title. Um, the x-axis will be the number of games technically. Um, the y-axis is just count or how many. So if you want to, you don't have to do this, but you could say count. Um, I personally like drawing the vertical lines. You can always put horizontal lines in too, but it won't do anything because of the way these graphs are drawn. But I, I like getting some, some vertical lines in mine, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Then next, this is fine. And just say create graph. That's more for if you have multiple graphs. Now it's not as narrow and skinny as the other one that I made with Minitab, but it gets the point across. And you can copy and paste it in. It's a little bit big, but you can always kind of shrink it down, right? So you just grab, click on it, grab the corners and kind of move it downwards. All right. And just as a side note, um, unlike the stem and leaf plot where I had to go to all the trouble to insert a text box to get it to paste correctly, um, dot plots don't have that problem. So you can just click paste and it'll just be sitting in there in Excel for you. So. Um, that's no problem. It's only the um, stem and leaf plots where you have to go to all the trouble to insert a text box first and then put it in there. All right, so what advantage does the dot plot have? Well, let me type that up. Hold on one second. Okay, it gives you a good visual representation of your data. It shows how spread out everything is. You can see where the stacks are. Ooh, let me type that in. There you go. You can see where the data stacks up um, real quickly. You can also regain, get back what your original data was if you really wanted to, it, which means it has less grouping problems than histograms do where everything's lumped together. And it has less rounding as a general rule than a stem and leaf plot would have. The big disadvantage, of course, is figuring out exactly which number is which dot. 